I don't know about in your neck of the woods, but in mine, winter has been all over the place. So to brighten things up, I'm going to make a delicious lemon ricotta loaf cake, but with a twist. No fresh lemons needed here, just lemon powder. Let's get jamming in the kitchen. First up, we have some all-purpose flour and I'm gonna add our twist lemon powder. Now I'm gonna add some baking powder. I'm gonna whisk these together. Now that our dry ingredients are nice and combined, we're gonna just set these to the side. Up now are wet ingredients. First, I'm gonna add some ricotta cheese. You may be wondering why I chose to use ricotta cheese. It adds a wonderful flavor and moisture to our lemon loaf cake. Next up is some granulated sugar. Now I'm gonna mix these two together. This is gonna incorporate some air. Up next is our eggs. Now I'm gonna add some sunflower oil and this is gonna help keep that moisture. I'm gonna go grab our dry ingredients and start combining the two together. Last but not least, I'm gonna add some vanilla extract and a little bit of water. The vanilla extract is gonna help make our lemon pop and add a little sweet, mellow undertone. And our water is just gonna give it a little extra liquid to get our batter to be the right consistency. I've learned that baking with fresh lemon juice can have many challenges. It can cause our batter to curdle or mess with our leavening. And the reason behind that is, is because we never know how sweet, tart, or acidic that lemon is going to be. So that's why I've settled on lemon powder is because we want the perfect batter every time. I already have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. Let's get this in there. To me, a lemon ricotta loaf cake is not complete without a puckering glaze on top. So we're gonna add our lemon powder to our powdered sugar. Add a little bit of water at a time. So this glaze can be as thick or as thin as you like it. I prefer my glaze on the thinner side instead of a thicker like icing in type. But again, personal choice, feel free to tweak, play around with the recipe. As you can see, our glaze has a few lumps. So to help us get rid of those, I'm just gonna go pop this in the microwave for approximately 30 seconds and I'll be right back. Grab our spoon, give this a quick stir. All right, to me, our glaze is the perfect consistency. So we're gonna just add this to our lemon loaf once it's out the oven. Our loaf cake smells amazing. Let's pop this out of our loaf pan and get it on our cooling rack. Just gonna run my knife along the sides. We're gonna let our lemon loaf completely cool and then come back and have a slice. Look at the inside. Look at this beautiful texture. It's nice and moist. 
that lemon smell is amazing. Now let's go in for a taste test. This is delicious. At first bite, you get that real strong pucker of the lemon from our glaze. And then as you chew and continue to taste, it mellows out into that nice mellow lemon flavor. It's so moist from our ricotta and the ricotta also adds a nice texture and flavor to it. I can't wait for you guys to go experiment in your kitchen and tweak till your heart's content or even just go experiment with something else. I'm gonna leave you guys with that thought and I'm gonna go finish my slice of lemon ricotta loaf cake. The recipe link is in the description box below. Please remember to like, subscribe, share with family and friends, and I'll see you next time on Julia's Jamming Kitchen.